up to this point we have a pretty nice easy digital downloads store you can display all your products you can click into a product and see the details you can select variable prices and add it to the cart showed you how to customize the checkout page and also create a custom template for it before we end I want to show you a couple other things so for example when you go into themes and you have a theme that's set with variable pricing you see the the options up here and you can select the different prices but in our other theme we don't have variable pricing set and as you can see it's displaying ten dollars here but when you click into the theme, since we have the option up here to show variable pricing, it doesn't show anything. This is probably kind of confusing for you know your customers. So what we need to do is uh, check for variable pricing, and if variable pricing isn't set, just display the regular price. So like always, we just need to go to Easy Digital Downloads, go into Advanced Theming, and down here at the bottom, there's this Check for Variable Prices. We can click on that and they provide a pretty simple if statement here so let's copy this let's go back into our theme files and I'm gonna put this into our sidebar so I'm just gonna put this here and let's just save it just to see what it looks like so let's go to themes and click on the one with variable pricing you can see here it says starts at twenty dollars and that's it and let's go to the one that doesn't have variable pricing and it says ten dollars so you can see here it says if there's variable pricing show what it starts at else just display the regular price so that's great let's customize a little bit and add our custom button here so we can take this statement here copy that and put it in right here now we can just delete this so now if we have a variable pricing we're going to show each variable price and give our little checkout button or add to cart button and if it doesn't have it we're just going to show the regular price so again if we go to themes go to the one with variable pricing you'll see that it has both variable prices and the add to cart button if we go back to themes and just pick the one without variable pricing you see that it has just the ten dollars so now we're missing the checkout button what we could do is we could put this same statement under here like that and then the button shows up as well and if we go to the one with variable pricing it shows up as well that's one way to do it another way to do it is go to back to the way we did it at the very beginning and that's just to show uh, a regular add to cart button so we could do this, copy this link here, and for the one that doesn't have variable pricing, we could just put this in here, something like that. You know, you'd have to do an, an echo, of course. Echo, like that, and end it. And this is going to work because we have filler content, but the tutorial that went over how to change this you know you can go this way this route as well so back into our themes this one's just going to show the variable pricing with add to cart and then the one without variable pricing it's going to have this purchase this link so again you know we can get rid of this and that checkout button goes away and then you just have this link up here and you can style that link however you want in the tutorial before you know I added a class to make it into a button so you have you have several different options 
Another thing I want to show you is how you can show what's in your cart anywhere throughout your theme. So again, under theming, they have this pretty cool little link that you can do that says show the cart quantity in your templates. So just click into that. And all you got to do is just grab this little link here. And for this example, I'm going to put it in my nav bar. So up here at the top somewhere, I'm just going to place it in here. So what I need to do is open up my header. And then I'm just going to put it in here just to show you an example of what it looks like. I need to add some classes to make it show up correctly. So I'm going to go over to Get Bootstrap. Go into Components, Navbar, and then this is just text for now. So I'm going to copy this here, this class, and put it in here. Save that. Refresh. And you can see here that I have this cart link, and I have two, two things in my cart. If I remove one, you see that automatically gets updated. So of course I'll need to you know do some styling to this you know maybe make it white add some padding let's see here one two three made it white you know I could change it up a lot since I have font awesome in my theme maybe I change cart to a to an icon so let's go in the icons here I'm gonna look for a shopping cart here's one here click into that and grab this code real quick copy that so instead of cart here I'm gonna put this icon and instead of brackets around the number I'm just gonna do a little hyphen so let's save that and see what it looks like now so when I refresh I have a little shopping cart here that looks pretty cool Again, I, I would need to style this to make it look a little bit better, but you get the point. I have a little icon, so when I go into themes or anywhere on my site, that little shopping cart icon is up there, and you know I can add things to my cart, and it'll increase automatically. The user can then go around, read other blog posts or whatever they need to do, Oh yeah, I have two things in my shopping cart. Let's go to the checkout page. And here you are. So this is a pretty cool little link you can use. You don't have to be in the header. You can actually use it wherever you'd like. So just take that in consideration when you're building out your easy digital download store.